Hello everybody, Model Farmer 6710 back here with another video and in today's video guys we are doing up a JCB 416S and um, this is a lovely model um, but all it needs is a little bit of detail and a little bit of beefing up so uh, my plans with this model is to put bigger tyres on it, a uh, bigger exhaust, um, new beacons and a few different stuff, a few stickers around the place um extra work lights um and yeah a few i'd love to get a few more attachments for it as well and just little uh details under there could use with a bit of details even if it was a bit of weathering under there but uh let's get into it and the first thing we're gonna do is um sand this uh beacon down to uh, make it flush and then i'll be replacing the beacon there i am then next i will uh, take off the exhaust and then we'll have a look at the tires and last we'll put on the work lights and different stuff So I'm currently taking off this beacon so nice and easy Next thing is lads, we're going to be putting on these tyres. So I have lovely um, JCB 419S tyres, I got them off, it's a Britain's tractor, or Britain's loader. Uh, it's really uh, similar to this, but it's uh, a newer type. And um, yeah, you can pick them up for about 26 euro or 30 euro in between there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to swap out the wheels. So as you can see, there's a bit of a thickness difference. In the tires and they're still a little bit higher they look a bit cooler in my opinion but what we're going to do is we're going to take these tires off i'm literally just going to rip them off because i won't be using them for anything but um and then we're just going to slide these ones in i also off the 419 you can use a few things so i'm after getting this exhaust so i'll be uh, fitting in this new exhaust as well and i have the lights and beacons and everything has arrived so I'll show you that after the tires on so guys here we have the wheels on so the wheels look really good at the minute and we also have the exhaust on uh, if that can focus there we go we also have the exhaust on and the wheels so um it's starting to take shape but it's not taking not taking full shape yet once we have the led lights on all over and beacons and a few other things on it should really enhance the model so let's get to it right guys here ha here we have the four and six and it's few modifications so i got a few stuff off farm models nl and um i got these lights off farm models nl and they must have got them in from uh artisan 32 as it says in the bag but they are about 179 each and uh two came in a bag uh, LED lights and they're gonna look real good on this. I also have uh, Mitchellman air horns and beacon bars in there. I have mirrors and, and beacons on the mirrors for them. Um, but yeah, some of this is for other models. But uh, yeah, uh, I got them on Fire Models NL. If you are wondering, um, LED lights and beacons and a few other things, mirrors now. So guys, as we can see, just here at the top of the cab. I have one of the mares on, and uh, the mares have beacons, uh, and I have the two LED lights on. So, it's already taken shape with that, but uh, I'll get the other mare on, another few uh, LED lights, and uh, yeah, I was thinking of putting a beacon bar over here, but uh, the beacons on the mares I think are enough, but uh, I'll decide closer to the time. And here we have it, the 4 and 6S. Not fully complete, but we'll go through what we have done so far. So to bring us up to speed. Front um, front lights, we have the top LED lights. So as you can see, they're lovely. And then um, we have the mirrors. Uh, they're big kind of mirrors for a big machine like this. They have the extra mirror down below here. 
and uh, as you can see on the other side we also have beacons on the mirrors which i think are very nice and moving on then at the top of the cab we have a nice little beacon bar this is the hide where i took off the last um original beacon on it and we have an original 419s um exhaust so the tires are 419s and the all uh, exhaust now next thing i want to do is and the last bits i want to do really is hydraulic hoses here and here uh like you see in the real yokes and i got this um i'll take it out of packaging here it's a one millimeter chain so this is chain uh just like that and uh, as you might see in the real uh, real life loading shovels they always have a little bit of or most of them always have just a little bit of chain hanging down off here where they maybe be pulling out tractors that got stuck in uh, when they're doing maze and stuff so i'm going to cut a little bit of this out and just hang it have it hanging off a little bit and even i might see if it suits anywhere else on the model but um i'll do the chain first and then we'll do the hydraulic hoses right guys as we're here i have the chain on the back with this one mil one millimeter chain that i got off amazon uh, which you can use for multiple models, you know, uh, you can put it on front weights, you can put it on a few things like um, may even make a chain harrow or anything. Um, it was very cheap, it was like it was less than five euro I think it was and uh, there's a good bit in it and uh, with a bit of all purpose glued it's dripping. I just got it on there so there's a bit of a string there and the snips. We got it on, it's looking nice, and uh, yeah, time to put on the hydraulic hoses. So, there we have it guys. We have the hydraulic hoses just on. And I think this looks pretty good. Just a little fine detail. And I was going through what I've been doing today. And we have the lights, we have the beacons, we have exhaust, we have the back little chain here, we have wheels, and the hydraulic pipes i'm very happy how this model turned out and it was a uh, relatively good pricing for the look of the model at this stage but thanks everybody for watching and if you're trying it yourself please send in your pictures thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye for now